And I say to my beloved sisters in Islam, and to all women that may hear what I say, your true honor is exemplified in Islam, where you are given true justice. And that is a fact. That is a fact for anybody who has eyes to see. Our Muslim sisters are honorable. Our Muslim sisters are exemplary pillars in our society. A society that is an oppressive, male, chauvinistic, western, perverted ideology that is trying to corrupt the nobility of women. And I say that without any qualms. Anybody that has clear vision can see this. Anybody whose eyes and whose heart isn't clouded will see this. Those who seek to liberate, quote unquote, women in their, that began almost 50, 60 or more years ago in the so-called sexual revolution, they call it, which was merely a movement to materialize the twisted and unrestrained desires of men. I am saying this on this member, as Allah is my witness, and I am a man, and the desires and lusts of men in the West unreligious folk with no religiosity has pushed for this so-called sexual revolution. Men with an insatiable appetite for lust and perversion. This is the facts. My noble sisters, women in general, I say to you, research Islam and see how women are treated as queens, as honorable nobility. Do not waver in your Islamic principles and do not give in to the deeply sexist society that we live in that objectifies women at every turn any commercial any billboard you just look at it it's about objectifying the female body and making women into, into objects rather than of substance just the other day I read a woman mentioned in this new situation that we are in with the COVID-19, she mentioned that in covering her face, it's so ironic, in covering her face with the mask, she said, I am so amazed now that I am able to go out in society and men see me for my personality rather than for my looks. Isn't it ironic? Something that the Muslims have been saying for 1,400 years, when our women are nobly covered and treated as... as, as Dignitaries in society. Naam? Look at the example here, Akhawat, of the mothers of the believers, Ummahat al Mu'minin, the female companions, the wives of the Prophet. They are the epitome of honor and dignity and all the wholesome values that make you and make women the cornerstone of the family structure and the foundation of the society, the first school of our children. This is the reason for the degradation of society. The corruption of the woman that they, that they destroy the family structure and leave us where we are today. Wallah al-musta'an.